Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Fortnite montage thumbnail. Now, this video is going to be relatively quick because making a Fortnite montage thumbnail is so easy for me that I basically do it while in class at this point because it's just that easy. And yeah, let's get right into the video. I'm not going to speak too much. I'm not going to waste too much of your time. Let's just get right into the video. Now, the first thing you want to make sure that you have is your screenshot. Now, I already have my screenshot here. Now, if you want to get a screenshot, you just want to clip a certain thing that you want. Let's say you have a map that has this kind of sunlight background here and, you know, a little bit of mountains over there. And then you want to make sure you're not on mobile builds when when you're doing this thumbnail. Now, I personally recommend using the star one, but you can use whatever pickaxe you want. I just like the star one just because it fits the saturation a little bit better. And you can use whatever skin you want. I personally change the skin every now and then, but with the same motion, the same background. You don't. You want to remove the HUD as well, HUD skills. You want to make sure that's all off. I, I still have FPS enabled, these enabled, the kills, and the whatever this is enabled, just because it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really show up on screen anyway when you put it on Photoshop. But anyway, yeah, this is a screenshot. Uh, I want to make sure you have this similar screenshot. Now you can also use what most people do is just a, two, a regular 200 pump, which is fine. Uh, but I don't really recommend it because it's hard to see and it doesn't look as quite it doesn't look quite as good as if you had like natural sunlight from the Fortnite game itself. Now for the project file from Photoshop, you want to make sure it's just 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio. Uh, it's either 1920 by 1080, 1280 by 720. You can also do 1280 by 720 which is fine. I'm pretty sure that's what YouTube recommends anyway, but you can also do 2560 by 1440, which is 1440p quality, I'm pretty sure. But for me, I just do standard 1920 by 1080 because it's for me, it's already good enough. And I already have a bunch of presets here that I haven't enabled. It doesn't matter. Just choose what you want and that's the wrong thing. My bad. So yeah, here, here's the, you know, the look of the Photoshop itself. You want to just drag the screenshot in. Make sure it's perfectly aligned. Yep, here it's perfectly aligned. It's perfectly aligned with the 1920 by 1080 landscape or whatever it's called. Now, to make the screenshot look good, you just want to click on this on the image. Make sure it's above. Make sure it's rasterized, and then just click on it, and then hold Control and then U, and you should come up with this tab right here, which is Who slash Saturation, or I don't know how to pronounce this, but you want to make sure this saturation number is on 50. And you, you, as you can see, it's just it just looks extra beautiful. It just the colors are just more vibrant than what it was before. Now, if you want to see how it looks like, just press Control Z before what it, what it looked like before, and then Control Shift Z to see what it looks like with the saturation. And then after that, you want to click on the image again, and then click on this button right here. It's like a little circle with the little shades in it. And then click on vibrance and then on vibrance you want to make sure that vibrance is on 15 and your saturation is on 15 it just adds a little bit more depth than what it looked to before as you can see here it's still pretty saturated but right now it just there's a lot more contrast and, and etc right there and i also like to add a curves adjustment which is this click on it and then you just drag some a little bit lower here and then add a little bit higher here and once again it just looks 10 times better than what it was before as long as it's pretty well colored, like in this picture right here, it's gonna look good. So after that, you wanna click on the image once again, click on filter, click on blur, click on radial blur, and then click on zoom. Make sure the amount is on 10. Quality, it doesn't really matter if it's draft, good or best. I just do best because it just says best. So click on it, and then it's gonna have this little blur right here. Now you might say, oh, it's gonna look ugly because of the quality. It doesn't, trust me, it's it's 10 times better when you have it on, and that's that's the reason why I keep these tabs enabled because you, par you barely can see them when you have this blur. So definitely try this out. I personally prefer it over not having a blur. So yeah, this is really, really good right now. So if you're looking for an emoji, which I know a lot of Fortnite montage makers does, they just search up what whatever emoji it is, like let's say two hearts emoji, which is the emoji I'm gonna use. And of course, it's gonna look ugly right here, but trust me, this will be adjusted in a little bit. So you want to click on rasterize layer. If it's already rasterized, you don't have to do it. Click on quick actions, double click it if it doesn't show up, and then remove background. It should remove the transparent background uh, of it. Now, sometimes it's not perfect. If it's not perfect, increase the size a bit. Click on select, and then select and mask 
and then you just want to just click on it you want to make sure that you have this enabled by the way and the plus sign and whatever size you want and then you should be able to fix whatever's the problem with the picture now once again the quality looked terrible earlier it looks small but right now it just looks fine by me and even then i don't think it's very no noticeable in a thumbnail so yeah, right now it looks good, but we can add a little bit more depth to the emoji by increasing the size, clicking it, double clicking it, and then add a outer glow. Now the outer glow, you want to copy these settings. So you want to you want to have opacity on around 43%, 45%, doesn't really matter. Blend mode to screen, noise to zero, technique softer, spread to zero, size to 83%. Rage to 50%, or I meant range, not rage. And then change the color to whatever color you like. So right now, since the color is pink, I'm gonna make sure it's a little bit pink. There we go. And as you can see, the emoji just looks 10 times better with the glow in it than it would if you don't have the glow. And this is already a good enough thumbnail, and I don't think you need to add too much here. And this is literally what I do every single time. I get a screenshot, I go into game with my map, and then have really good sunlight with it, increase the saturation, increase the vibrance, have some contrast, get an emoji, and then add a glow on that emoji. And then right now, it looks pretty good. If you want to render it, if you want to export it, just click on export, quick export S, and then make sure the quality is on high. Now this depends if you have, a, if it's on 2560 by 1440, it, YouTube might not accept it if it's too much files to go through. So you just want to make sure that it's, it's pretty balanced. I don't recommend going PNG, by the way. JPG is just fine. It's just a little bit better. You want to click on export and then you should be good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. If you did learn something, then also leave a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I would highly appreciate it if you did subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you are notified of videos like these. I hope that this new type of video is really, really good. And I hope that you guys like it. I'm going to be posting more tutorials from here on out. Less montages just because I've been busy with school. So I don't really play Fortnite that much. I just do tutorials and I enjoy making tutorials. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. Thank you for watching and goodbye.